Hey, this is Chris from Guitar Me. This lick is from my course, Must Know Rock Guitar Licks, that is available at guitarme.net and Skillshare. The links for the course are also in the description if you're interested. Have fun with the lick. Okay, for lick number five, uh, what I'm doing here is I'm using a typical pentatonic pattern where I'm going back three notes in the pentatonic scale and then coming back one and then going down three, coming back one, then going down three, coming back one, going down three, and then coming back one. So you end up with this. Uh, it's just a typical rock kind of pattern. Um, and so what I have here is for the first three beats, uh, you see those 16th notes and they're bracketed by uh, the, the six there at the bottom. So what you're doing is, in my, in my brain, uh, you're basically doing two sets of triplets, like triplet, 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 I'm not gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. I just think of it as triple it, 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 triple it. That's how I think of it. Alright, so in the first beat we're going eight, five, eight, five, eight, five, or or triple it, triple it. In the second beat we're gonna go. Triple it, triple it. So the first beat, second beat, then the third beat, we're gonna go triple it, triple it. All right. So if you put those three together, you're gonna go. Then for beat number four, we just on this A here, this fourth string seventh fret. We just have a quarter note. And I put the, the wavy line there as vibrato. I like to end on uh, end of the liquor with a little vibrato. Why not? So after a little while, you, if you, you, once you get really comfortable playing this lick, um, I like to do a lot. I like to do a lot of legato stuff. Where, where a lot of times I'm, I'm a bit of a lazy picker. A lot of times I'm not even picking. I'm just, just using this hand here for a legato licks. So um, to me, I think it's fine to go. Basically, any note that you play higher, if it's going to be on the eighth, eighth fret, or the seventh fret, I feel like you can do a pull off, like. To me, that's a lot faster, it's a lot smoother, I think it sounds cooler, uh, but it doesn't really, it's not helping your picking at all. So I would pick it by going, um, you know, it's up to you, I'm going to go down, up, down, I'm going to start down and basically alternate pick. You know, so I, uh, I could probably start up if I wanted, but I'm just going to start down. And then once you get much more comfortable. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and play through it a couple times and feel free to play along with me. Three, four. I'll go ahead and slow it down a little. That seems a little too fast. All right. Three, four. So in the beginning, I wouldn't really worry about, um, I would just try to play it uh, accurately, and um, I have I had set at 60 uh, beats per minute there for the tempo, because you probably want to practice this one pretty slow. So let's go ahead and do it one more time. Three, four... <laughs> That was how you play lick number five. If you like this guitar lesson and you'd like to see more, make sure you subscribe to my channel. And also make sure you click that notification bell so that you know when I come out with new videos. Thanks for watching.